Number eight, we're going to integrate this. And the best guess is U substitution. And choosing which one to U substitute, well, probably the bottom one, because when you derive this, you'll get the top, or a variance of the top. So U is going to be 3 minus X cubed. So when we derive that, it looks like we're going to get DU is equal to negative 3X squared dx. And from that, I need just x squared dx. So if I want this just to be x squared dx, I have to move over the negative 3. So I have x squared dx is du over negative 3. So my new equation, my new integral, x squared dx is right here. So that would be a negative one-third du, du negative one-third. So I just I threw it out front instead of messing with it. And uh, what's left was one over u, because u is on the bottom. So that's what we're left with. And that, according to this formula right here, which is not in your yellow, on your uh, front cover, which is kind of dumb, we can integrate 1 over u using this. So we simply have negative 1 third. The integral of 1 over u is simply going to be ln u plus c. And u is in absolute value. Okay. Now, that would be not done yet because you now have negative one-third ln, what's u? u is 3 minus x cubed. Could you also take this negative one-third power, one-third, and bring it up and make it a power over this thing? Yes, which you end up, you could write it like this, which I probably wouldn't, but just so you know, in case it's like that, you could also write it like this. As <coughs> I would choose this one, but this is how you also could write it. Because that becomes a cube root negative, so it drops to the bottom. That is another way of writing it.